Augustus Johnston here, who's in and out of the first Democratic debates. Barring a last-minute change, Montana Governor Steve Bullock will not make the stage. Unbelievable. I was really hoping that Steve Bullock would be there. A prominent governor who nobody's heard of is running <laughs> in the Democratic Party and is at serious, serious risk of getting shut out of the party's first presidential debates. While a, a meditation, a guru, an obscure tech opera, entrepreneur take the stage for the most important event of the race so far. On this show with Pat O'Brien, if you remember, I'm talking like that, that blonde lady that was on that show with Pat O'Brien. I think Trump made a pass at her. And today's, I, I think it was called Access Hollywood. And today's Access Hollywood. And she would stand upright with her hands twiddling in front of her. And today's Access Hollywood. I, by a blonde uh, robot uh, version 2.75. Presidential hopefuls have, have until the 12th to do, anyway. Let's go ahead and scroll down to who's in the field of 64. The, can the 13 candidates who could book their tickets to March Madness include the race's top figures, Joe Biden, Bernard Sanders, Pete Buttigieg, Elizabeth Warren, Kamala Harris, Beta O'Dork, Zeus, Obi Klobuchar, Fidel Castro are the top polling candidates following a random drawing and seated number one. And I was just saying, hopefully this works this time. This is my second go around here. There, are, a lot of these candidates are either stealing from Bernie Sanders or trying to uh, fight his policies. And if you're trying to fight his policies, I'm you, please, by all means, run. But those that are trying to steal from him, why? Why are you even running? I know it's a democracy in theory, but you should not be running. If you actually cared about the country, you would get out of the right way. You would not interfere with Bernie Sanders' attempts to do something for people. And I know we all have our agendas, right? You know, there are rich people that don't want their taxes cut. There are poor people that want more money. And I'm not saying steal, you know, every penny from the rich and give it to the poor, but we need a better system, a Scandinavian approach. And... It shows me that you, anyone that is, is running, that is tr trying to steal his policies, borrowing his policies, is a narcissist, is egotistical. And how do these people get in, even get involved? They have no ideas. They have no ideas. And if you're, if you're associated with these people, associated with these people, or if you are these people, and I hope you are, and I know you're listening, I, because this is the biggest show on YouTube you won't have no idea how much you make my blood boil with hatred and anger. That's it for today, and I appreciate you very much. We'll see you at the debates.